Hi everyone, Richard here and thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Today is a story time video. I love it, story time video because it kind of helps me go back in time and uh, kind of check in with my old self sometimes. So I'm going to speak about uh, something that was, that is actually a part of my life even till this day, but I've, I think I've overcome it. It's claustrophobia. For people who know me, um, I was insane when it comes to claustrophobia I wouldn't go into the uh, I wouldn't go in the elevators I wouldn't um, you know I, I wouldn't even get on uh, get on the public transportation um, I wouldn't want to fly which seven years ago I had to fly for the first time so that's where my story actually begins I was preparing for flying you know in advance um, and I, I did not sleep for I think two to three days I did not sleep because I wanted to just go on that plane go off to sleep like I didn't want any part of flying at all and um, as soon as I boarded the plane it was around three o'clock in the morning and as soon as I entered I see that a female like an older female was uh, you know she had these beads that she was saying her prayers on and then there was a man who had a Bible open and he was like saying his prayers out loud and I was like, oh my God, these are the last people I'm gonna see in my life. We're gonna die. Something is gonna happen on this aircraft. I was so terrified. Anyway, as soon as I got on the plane, uh, the plane took off. I was, the, the, the taking off the player, uh, plane was just too much for me. I was terrified. I was holding on to, you know, my little backpack. I was like, like, I was like, oh my God, like, I don't even know how I'm, how I'm gonna breathe. I was having trouble breathing and this and that. Anyway, I fell asleep and 45 minutes into the flight, I woke up due to the turbulence and I did this. I literally ran up the aisle to the air, you know, to the flight attendants and I told them, I was like, listen, if we're going to die, you let me know right now because I don't want to die without knowing that I'm going to die. I want to know that, okay, fine, this is happening right now. So, you know, whatever. And they just looked at me and they started smiling. They were like, Psh, okay, they were Korean. And uh, they, they said, do you want anything? I was like, I, you know, it's okay, don't worry. And I was like, I don't want anything. I just want to sit next to you because I know you guys like probably have a better plan for yourselves, right? So they told me to sit in that, in, you know, they had this little chair in the front, um, you know, little, little space space I guess for the flight attendants to sit down and I sat there with them throughout the whole you know half of the flight because my layover was in uh, South Korea so I was with them I was talking to them they were really nice people they were amazing and then um, and then I was when when I got to South Korea I was amazed at the fact that it was strange enough that I was in a different country. Everything in that country was in Korean, like nothing, not even the calling cards, you know, had like a little section, just directions in English. I kind of figured it out. I called, um, you know, um, I called everybody and I was like, can everybody just move to South Korea? Cause I don't want to take another flight here from, you know, from South Korea to, to the States. And uh, everyone was like laughing at me. And then I got on the plane again. I was like, shit, uh, you know, somehow landed the first, uh, you know, first part of it. And now the second part is gonna be terrible. And uh, I just got on the plane and was terrified. I was just praying the whole time, just had my eyes closed, promised, I made so many promises to God. Like, Lord, I'll be such a good person. Just let this aircraft stay in the air and land and um, yeah, it did land and it did uh, you know I was safe and all and um, that was that was that and the second experience that I had was where they had to do an emergency exit for me was when I was flying from Philadelphia to to New York and uh, I was traveling with my mother and my mother is like the second she's actually like I feel like my mom is crazier than me when it comes to all these, uh, you know, fears that I have, and I think I probably get it from her. Um, and I want to be daring, like you know, I, I want to be 
I want to be able to do stuff. So I try to face my fears as much as I can. So I told my mom, I was like, mom, like, you know, like, don't worry, everything will be fine, this and that. And as soon as we landed, I was like, okay, fine. Now my responsibility is done. Like, you know, she's okay. I'm okay, whatever. And then suddenly I started getting this feeling because, because the, the, you know, there was, there was a lot of air traffic. So we were still sitting on um, the runway waiting for a gate. And I was like, oh my God, the lights were off. And then the claustrophobia started coming in, you know, started taking the best of me. And I was like, shoot, I'm going to die, this and that. I ran towards the flight attendant again. I told her, I said, I want to get out of the plane right now. And she was like, ma'am, please go back to your seat. Everything is going to be fine. I was like, you don't understand. I cannot go back to the seat. I need to get out. My mom is sitting there. She's like, what? What is going on with you? I was like, no, I need to get out of this plane. Da, 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 da. And sure enough, they, they made an um, you know arrangement for me. They did uh, an emergency exit where I had to take the stairs down, rather than um, you know the the you know the waiting for the aircraft to um, you know unload, um, and they they escorted me out of the aircraft. So yeah, thanks to American Airlines for that. And uh, at that time it was U.S. Airways. So thanks to them, it was really nice of them to do that. And that's it. Uh, that was my story. Um, please tune in. To watch more videos i know i've been slacking i know i have to get on my thing you know but it's like i've been feeling like so like i don't know it was a lot thrown at me so i was just trying to like you know figure everything out and now that everything is kind of feeling like it's getting somewhere i will definitely put more videos on so i love you all Mwah.